Let's step through setting up linked counters. Be sure to watch the tutorial for using linked counters first so you are familiar with the concepts and our sample instructions. We're in our project and want to create a linked counter. Tap Edit. Tap the Linked Counters button on the right. You can see I have some linked counters already set, including two repeat counters, a waist shaping counter, and the button counter. The list of existing counters scrolls. Our list of counters is not done. We need to add the chest shaping instructions. To create a new counter, tap the blue plus. Pick the type of counter. In this case, we want a reminder to do chest shaping actions, so we will pick action. You can set the color of your counter. I will name my counter chest and set its action to be increase one stitch at end of row. If I know the specific row I want to start on, I can enter it, but often you need to begin something after knitting a specific distance. In that case, which is what we have here, you can use manual start. Specify how many times and how often your action should happen. In this case, my shaping needs to happen six times every four rows. I was able to add this counter because I haven't gotten to the chest shaping part of my knitting yet. If you have advanced the linked counters and find you need to adjust a counter that has already started, use the reset button bottom left. To use your linked counters, tap knit. Here at the bottom, we see our new chest shaping has been added to our list of actions. Notice it says tap to start. That is because I set it to start manually so I can tap it when I'm ready.